Hello friends, today we're talking about bias tires, trailer tires, and radial trailer tires, the difference. Now this could be very helpful in the fact that the correct tires on your trailer when you're towing could end up saving your life, saving your boat, saving your truck, saving other people. And it gives you an enjoyable day out towing knowing that you have the confidence that you have the right tires for what you're doing with your trailer. Now you're looking at a bow stop for a deep V boat that will sit snugly in there on the trailer to keep it from moving from side to side in the front. And the roller trailer is very good in the sense that you could put it in low water and roll your boat up on the trailer. Now we're looking at bias ply tires and these tires on this older trail I have is about at least five six years old it's due for a change no doubt but I'm using it as an example today the car in a, a bias tires is the thread wears faster due to higher traction it has a rollover effect causing loss of traction while cornering also, a bias ply tire is constructed with nylon belts compared to a radial trailer tire, which is constructed with steel belts of the tire running at a 90 degree angle of the thread center line. Now, wow, who really needs to know that, right? <laughs> so, what do we really need to know? Well, we need to know that radial tires run cooler on long trips and that's why I put these new uh, radial tires on my main boat trailer. They also are less prone to develop flat spots when parked in the same position for long periods of time. Hold up, wait a minute. Bias ply tires have stiff sidewalls so they are advantageous for carrying heavy loads. Stiffer sidewalls on a bias ply tire also help reduce trailer sway. Wow! Now this particular radial tire I got on the boat trailer now has a scuff mark. You can see the, the side, the side. In case I rub against the curb or something, you know it won't cut a hole so easily into the tire scuff guard there. Uh, these are the type of tires, the brand that the military use on their vehicles. They use them over in Afghanistan. For real, for real. <laughs> and they don't cost as much as a Goodyear tire and they're very good efficient radio tires. Okay, so what else can we talk about? How important are the radial tires. Well, if we look closer, we can see that stiffer, like I said, stiffer sidewalls also help reduce trailer sway. So that's a good reason to change to a radial tire, even though the bias tire might have a stiffer sidewall. But you're going long distance on a trailer you need uh, a radial tire they run a lot cooler and that's important but for short distance distance you're not too far from the boat ramp you really won't need a radial tire a good bias ply tire would, would work very good and also change them every three to five years and what you're looking at now is a sticker just for information purposes on this boat trailer it had the sticker that come with the trailer information sticker gives you the type of tire that they recommend for their trailer but also keep in mind that the weight of the boat you're carrying because you might want to upgrade that uh, tire to make sure it can carry the load of what you got on that trailer it's very important and again this is just for information purposes you see the um, information sticker 
gives you the size of the tire and the weight of the trailer and the year that the trailer was made and who made the trailer. In this particular instance, this is a Shoreliner trailer, roller trailer, an oldie but goodie. So if you like my videos, it's free to subscribe. Even if you don't have a boat, uh, you can get information. You can pass it on to other people that may have a trailer. Uh, my videos are for information purposes only. And also, um, like I said, subscribe and like. This here on the crank says not for human movement. Now why would they put that up there? Who knows? Drag a human with the winch. Bye.